the first week in regret. Who gets home Friday evening from work, been a big week, and you overeat and you go into food coma? <laughs> Who's been, been there? Yeah. Oh, been yeah. There, done that. Yeah. So a lot of times the food coma just because you eat so much food that you go into rest and digest mode. But the other thing that can happen is indigestion, particularly if you have too much buildup of acid in your stomach. So we have a quick home remedy. Because to treat it, say you're, you've got some heartburn or just acid indigestion, hmm. celery actually has a high alkaline pH content, so it can counteract some of the effects of the acidity in your stomach. Okay. So if, if you're tending to overindulge, start things off with a couple of stalks of celery because you may prevent, number one, overindulging in the first place, but mm -hmm. celery has over two dozen painkiller anti-inflammatory as well as anti-ulcer compounds. Nice. nice. I like that. You know the worst thing about a food coma for me is that bloated feeling. Ugh. Ugh. You can't do anything. I hate that. You just sit there and, <laughs> oh, it's terrible. I, I, you know what's funny is when you grow up in the Midwest, the tendency was to always overeat mm -hmm. every meal. So if I didn't have food coma after I ate, I felt like I didn't, didn't, eat, it. didn't <laughs> eat the right amount. Yeah. Boy, how things change. <laughs> well, but no, it's interesting how you have to teach yourself, <laughs> wait a minute, my signal has not gotten to my brain yet. I have yeah. to wait before I keep eating so that you don't go into food coma. And actually, foods like this, high in fiber, also can help, can help you feel satiated before you go into the coma.